The return to home is a crucial and often misunderstood safety operation for a drone. In this video I will show how to set the return to home in the safest way in the Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro and how these drones behave in this tricky situation in order to avoid possible accidents. The first thing to know is how and where the position of the home point is set. Many users believe that the home point is where the controller is, but it is not always the case. After switching the aircraft, the software initiates the connection to the different satellites, as shown on the top right of the screen. In order to get a connection with the satellites, the drone must be in an outdoor location. Once a certain number of satellites are connected, about 12, a voice message tells us that the home point has been set, and a message also appears on the screen. The operation takes less than a couple of minutes, and it is suggested to wait for it before taking off, so that the home point will be exactly where the aircraft takes off. But it is possible to take off before. In this case, the home point will be set at the aircraft's position when all the satellites are connected. Until the home point is updated, the maximum flight height is limited to 30 meters. If the operator moves during the flight, for example on a car, on a boat, on a bicycle, or hiking, the home point remains in the original position, and it is something to be aware of. If a return home is initiated, the drone might fly in an unexpected direction, maybe even further away from the operator. This can be dangerous because of obstacles or when running short of battery. It is always possible to check the position of the home point on the map. It will be shown by a yellow circle around an H, while the position of the remote controller is shown with a blue dot and the aircraft by a triangular shape. It is possible to modify the position of the home point at any time in the tab Safety of the settings by selecting the option Update home point. A map appears on the screen, with the position of the home point relative to the aircraft and to the controller. It is then possible to drag the yellow circle on the map to move the home point manually, or else it can be automatically updated to the position of the aircraft or the position of the controller by tapping on the two icons on the right. In the safety tab of settings, above the update home point, there is an option for setting the auto return to home altitude. In the case of a return to home, the aircraft will ascend to that altitude, then fly to the home point, before lowering the altitude for landing. It must be set at a height above all surrounding obstacles, but not too high, as otherwise it will take longer to ascend and redescend for landing, which could be dangerous if we are running out of battery. In most cases, in a flat environment, a height between 40 and 50 meters is suggested. A lot of care is needed when flying under a canopy of trees or with other obstacles above. If a return home should be initiated for any reasons, the aircraft will immediately rise to the selected return to home altitude. But since the Mini 3 and Mini 3 Pro don't have upward obstacle detection, the drone might crash against the obstacles. For this reason, in this situation, a lot of attention is needed. I recommend landing immediately after having done the filming and photo shooting. In the advanced safety settings, it is possible to specify how the drone behaves in case of signal loss with the following choices. Return to home, descend, or hover. When planning to film or take photos in woods, ruined buildings, or other restricted areas, it is strongly suggested to set this value to hover to take manual control and avoid accidents. Another situation that requires extra planning and attention is when flying in a hilly environment, where the altitude varies considerably from the starting point. The auto-return home altitude is computed based on the elevation of the home point, but if the aircraft starts the return to home on much higher ground, it will not raise in altitude at all before initiating the return. 
Under this scenario, it's suggested to plan for the difference in elevation and set a much higher return to home altitude. A manual return to home can be started at any time by the same button used for taking off on the left of the screen. After takeoff, the icon changes to an H for home. After tapping on it, we are presented with a choice between landing or starting a return to home. Another possibility is to press and hold for a couple of seconds the return to home button on the left part of the remote controller. In this case, the return will start immediately, without the option for landing. It is possible to cancel a return to home and retake manual control of the drone by tapping on the same icon on the left of the screen, or by pressing the return to home button on the remote control. A return to home is initiated in case of a loss of signal. On the top of the screen, next to the battery time indicator, there is an icon showing the strength of the signal. The bars are white with a good transmission. They turn to orange when they start to deteriorate. And finally to red in case of a very poor signal, close to this connection. When the signal is lost, the aircraft waits for a few seconds and then initiates a force return to home. The same happens when the remote controller is turned off. The last cause for a return to home is when the battery runs below a specific level. There will be a warning prompt when the battery level is low. The low battery return to home is triggered when the intelligent flight battery is depleted to the point where the aircraft might not be able to return safely. Running out of battery is probably the main cause for losing a drone, so I suggest paying close attention to the battery indicator at the top of the screen and avoiding to go below 25%. The icon with the green, orange and red circle around shows the percentage of the battery time remaining. By tapping on it, we access the remaining time to a forced return home, to a forced landing and to complete the plection of the battery. A major difference between the two models is the presence of three directional obstacle sensors in the Mini 3 Pro. The obstacle avoidance system is active in case of a return to home. If the aircraft encounters an obstacle, it will stop in front of it, and after a couple of seconds, it will find its way above the obstacle. But the Mini 3 cannot detect obstacles above and to the sides, therefore, the same attention as for the Mini 3 is suggested when planning a flight. Click on this link to watch my video about common beginner's mistake to avoid with the Mini 3 and 3 Pro. And don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.